Hey there, and welcome back to another Illumination video. And we're back again with another Super Mario Bros. trailer. And yeah, this one's looking a lot better than the first one, although the first one really wasn't that bad to begin with. It looked great, and the majority of the voices were good from what I heard, but then Mario started talking and was like, yeah, no. And so I think that turned a lot of people off. But then this trailer's released, and I think there's still a few concerns. But for the most part, this was a really good trailer. And so, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to work our way through the trailer and give our thoughts. And so, with all that being said, let's get into it. And so, I do have a few thoughts on the trailer as a whole. First up, thank God it's a true trailer. It shows off the characters, gives a few funny lines, shows off the voice acting, the score, but it keeps it vague and mysterious. Doesn't give you all the best parts right away. And most of all, it doesn't spoil major plot developments. It gives you the bare bones idea of what's going to happen. Bowser's is the bad guy. He kidnaps Luigi. Peach is leading her kingdom to war with him. They're training up Mario to help them. They're going to go on their own little adventure to stop him, probably to try and save Luigi as well. And that's basically it. A very brief synopsis, like a blurb on the back of the book. It's not giving away the plot for free, which is something I feel has become a bit of a trend in the last decade or so. Trailers that spoil way too much of the plot. They use all the best lines. They show all the best bits. And so when you're sitting in the cinema, you aren't gripped quite as much by what's going on, because you've already seen it before. Here, at least so far, they've managed to avoid doing that, and hopefully they continue with that theme if they release any further trailers. It would be a massive shame to have them come so far, only to falter at the last minute. Next up, we'll talk the voice acting. Once again, I feel like Jack Black as Bowser, that was an unexpectedly great choice. I kind of thought he'd make him a little too silly, but now after these two trailers, it was a great get. It's both intimidating and yet, it has that undercurrent of silliness that I think you need for a film like this to succeed. Luigi? I kind of thought I'd hate his voice. But this is another I don't mind. I actually found him quite amusing. And whilst it doesn't sound like classic Luigi, it still felt like it fit the character nonetheless. The Toads, they fit pretty well. And on top of that, I noticed that they didn't show Donkey Kong's voice, which I think was a good call. That would have gotten a lot of hate, I reckon. So it was quite smart to hide it for now and wait until a later trailer where there's a bit more goodwill. Or just straight up save it for the actual cinematic release. God, I'm worried about that. I still have no idea what they were thinking with Seth Rogen. Like, come on. I think it's such a casting mismatch. Same with Peach, honestly. I think the actress herself is very talented, but I don't think she's the right choice. She just doesn't really fit the character for me. I don't know what it is. It's just one of those instances where it just feels a bit off. That's how I feel about it. Which, of course, brings us to Chris Pratt as Mario. <sighs> I just don't get it. Like, with Peach, at least, I can say that I like the voice, just not for the character. Here, it feels like Chris Pratt is just phoning it in, like he wasn't even trying. And yeah, maybe he isn't. Who knows? Either way, he doesn't sound or feel like Mario at all. And at the same time, it isn't even quality voice acting. I saw a comment on the trailer itself saying that his performance sounds like he's trying not to wake up his parents in the other room, and that just feels very accurate. It's so subdued and lifeless, lacking any enthusiasm whatsoever. And so whilst I can look past shoddy voice acting for the most part, I can't look past it for the main character of the film. And really, it just bodes so ill for the film as a whole if the lead character is both a casting mismatch and is also putting out a phoned-in performance. Just a terrible look. But that's not to say that everything's looking bad. There's actually a lot to like about the trailer as a whole. Especially all the actual game references they've managed to cram into this thing. I really enjoyed that it looks like Mario's first real battle is against Donkey Kong, his OG rival from the arcade days. And on top of that, their battle in the arena is atop a big red scaffolding, just like in the old arcade game. I found that very fun. Also, just in general, I'm a sucker for those gags where there's a big build-up to an epic moment, like when Mario's charging Donkey Kong, only for there to be a sudden, anticlimactic end to it all. Those always get me. And this was no exception to that. I also really loved that Bowser's army was filled to the brim with all the classic Mario villains. Koopas of all shapes and sizes and colours. Shy Guys, bob Piranha Plant, Goombas. All of the classics. And yeah, it feels like a small thing. But it does go to show the creators are actually bothering to incorporate as much from the games as they possibly can. And when it comes to these kind of things, respecting the source material is always a good sign for quality. And on top of that, it feels like it is a fairly faithful storyline that very much feels like it came straight out of the games. 
Bowser wants to take over the world, and so is going around conquering different places to get their power stars. Along the way, he's taken hostage somebody that Mario cares about, which in this instance is Luigi, which in turn feels like a very good call from a writing perspective. Luigi is a bit of a coward and panics often, and based on this trailer, is also prone to rambling on, so I think he and Bowser will have some pretty funny scenes. Plus, it actually allows them time to develop the relationship of Peach and Mario instead of having her as some generic damsel in distress. Which in turn also gives Mario a lot more incentive to actually do his best to help after all. Surely you'd be more eager to save your brother than some random woman you've never met before. But yeah, just shit tons of game references. All the different costume changes, Peach has her own little map table that shows the worlds and where Bowser's castle is, like it's an in-game map. The fire flowers, Tanuki suit, all the different toads, the obstacle course that resembles a level from Super Mario Maker. All the different coloured Yoshis running through the jungle, looking adorable by the way. And of course, the Mario Kart Rainbow Road to finish off the trailer. Ah, oh, that's some premium nostalgia right there. And so, coming out of the trailer, I actually think this film has the potential to be legitimately good. It looks like they're trying to be as faithful to the source material as they possibly can, and create a world that's both new and yet familiar at the same time. The music's great, the design's great, the animation quality is really great. The story looks like it has the potential to be fun and exciting, and whilst the voice acting might leave a little to be desired, if that's the only bad thing, I'm still pretty excited to see the movie. And so yeah, that's it. That's the video. Nothing really else to say except these have been my opinions and now I'd like to hear yours. What did you think of the trailer? You like it? Hate it? I'm curious for your thoughts, so make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know.